Hello everyone, this is Bob and Threadbear, welcome back to Rogue Galaxy. And this is Kalon Zombie, still here despite that go those goddamn prison cell guys. Prison cell guys. Yes, I've already forgotten their names. Well that's okay, because the game has to. So there are beasts oh, good. on the planet too. I pretty much won't be seeing them ever again. It's the small things that will get me through this. In any case, we are back towards the Galaxy Corporation. Ooh, the finally, the Guardian Admiral. Finally, going to renew that visa. And of course, that girl is going to be gone, or she'll have already forgotten completely about us. Not exactly. Ready? She's just an uh, airhead. You know, that's, that's all. really surprising. Oh. Isn't that awfully fast for a bombing? Gosh, law is like so complicated. Shut you up. Do anything. Oh, this is all your fault. Now, now, let's just get our galactic travel visa renewed. One more time. ZR KJ1701, the Dorganark. Huh? Oh no. What now? Duh. Because it couldn't be that easy either. Or something. Don't you know what happened? Huh? I sure did think it was weird. You guys are so out of it. Don't you ever watch the news? Here. We're live at the Daytron factory, where an unnamed Watch individual the kid. has taken over the computer mainframe, but has yet to make any demands. A large number of hunters are coming together from nearby <laughs> cities to capture the criminal. Daytron's offering a sizable reward for the capture of the terrorist. This is Lucy Dine reporting live from the scene of the standoff. Bomb in the photo. <laughs> It's better because it's in space. So, do you get it now? All of Zerard's government offices are managed by the Daytron mainframe. That's like a big space computer. Space McDonald's. So, Actually, I don't anyway, think being in space will save McDonald's any more than it and they get it back can up. possibly be. Sorry. You know, you could always go after the criminal yourself if you're in such a hurry. Here, look at this. Attention, Datron Corporation! This is wrongful termination. It's a Your ransom note. I am totally running out of patience here. If you have time to send pathetic hunters in here, you ought to give in to my gosh darn requests! Gosh darn! <laughs> and my life became the absolute pit. I demand 200 million zen in compensation for my pain and suffering. Is this the guy? Hmm. It sounds to me like this fellow is taking revenge for being fired. What a pitiful guy. Yeah, even I wasn't that angry when I got fired. If we manage to capture this guy, we can get our visa renewed, right? Yep. I'd say that's about right. Let's go get him. If it goes well, we'll even get that reward from Daytron. My, what confidence. I'm totally impressed. To get to the factory, just head straight out through so the main So she's completely forgotten about the, the whole bombing Plaza, thing okay? at this point. Good luck out there! <sighs> I just hope we're done with her soon. Well, apparently we need to... rescue a factory from a rogue employee. First, take a deep breath. Let's see what the shop's doing. Now, of course, it's... Got the same issue. <laughs> Although it kind of makes me wonder, because I don't think this was a thing just that was happening the first happened. time, so I, I was wondering what issues they had at that point. Hmm. Like the first time when she said that they couldn't do the thing that they wanted to do. Did you go back and check? Hmm? 
Did you go back and check? Or check what? Was that lost? Uh, what was going on the first time? Oh, no, apparently it's just plan? done now, now that we're back oh. out of prison, because they've got this new problem, and that's the reason why they oh, okay. won't handle the visa. In any case, you may notice we are back in the uh, Insectron Stadium. Yep. And this time... This time we've actually got enough money to deal with the uh, entry fee for rank E. That's good. So I will be showing off the very first battle. Just, you know, to uh, let you see what it's like. Sweet. Shellbreaker. Yep. That's a... Uh, well, that's a combat buff for her uh, hatchets. Ah. Continuous. Oh, unblockable. Nice. And guard break and electricity damage. And he gets wave jammer. Direct damage attack. Is that a rainbow lizard? Uh, Rainbow Newt. Oh, okay. This one deals electric damage and causes confusion. Confusion is pretty nice because it lasts a while. Anyway, like I said, I will be showing off the very first battle. Not, not even just the first rank, just the first battle. And something I have to say I really do like about this game is that just about all of the minigames are completely optional. Oh, thank god. If you wanted to, you could never enter the Insectron Stadium. Hmm. You'd miss out on getting some of the food, which is good for the, um... It's good for the revelation flow, but even just beyond that. Yeah. So right now we're feeding all of our Insectrons, giving them bananas because that ups their HP by 5 points, at the cost of only one life bar, I think, whatever it's called. But you may also notice that I've changed all of the names. I <laughs> see. According to what seemed popular in the thread, Tyson the Stun Steggy, FTL the, uh... Slaying Mantis. It's a zebra. No, really. <laughs> Frankenfurter, the male lady beetle. Yes! And Tina the Turner. <laughs> you did good, Thread. Now let's get down here and... Don't fall behind, have a okay? chat with the announcer. Oh, I see. Even though you have enough money, you can't buy yourself into D rank right away. You have to be E rank. Yeah. And that was just me, uh, using a save state there for a second. Much more efficient than just saving my game out in the... Ladies out front. Yeah. Gentlemen! Although there is a save point the just e outside the stadium. Is about to begin! They may be just starting out, but some of these folks look pretty tough. And some of them are so young they are barely you clear the table. To battle. Here comes the first round. Yep, our first opponent is this little seven-year-old named Zach. Uh oh, tell please tell me Ted is going that Tina's going to fight his Ted. I don't know. That would be hilarious and wrong. Well, right now we're at the first part, which is selecting your insectors and then selecting the locations that you're going to put them. Now, the game takes um, a little bit from 
chess's example. So that's why you get these uh, checkerboard here. And you can only right. place your pieces on your two squares. Oh, and you can select a king. I take it if that one... Yes. Another thing taken from chess is that the king is the only important piece on the table. I take it if you kill it, the game's over? The battle... Yes. The battle is won once the king is defeated. Right now you see that uh, one of the bonuses of It's a Zebra is that it can move up to two squares in any single direction. Unlike all of my other insects, which are mostly beetles, can, uh, who can only move in one space in each direction. And you may have noticed when it was talking about the king, the king, regardless of what kind of insector it is, can only move in one square, but in any direction. So if you made your It's a Zebra, it would, uh, it would only be able to move one square? Yeah. And of course it's, uh, moth or butterfly there. It can move up to, uh, I think three squares. And it can jump over other insects in the process. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. And I believe it's also got some sort of dizzy effect or, um, poison. It didn't use it this time. You see, you can only use uh, your special ability up to three times per match. And you can see it's counted by those dots just above their health bar. Ah. And what I've did there was I used over easy to flip the uh, Flappy. You notice when Flappy attacked, the uh, FTL got himself a... It's a kick! Yeah. It's a kick. Knocks him back one. <laughs> oh, he used his... Uh-oh. Flipper. But yeah, so the real benefit of knocking them down like that, which you can see here, is that they, uh... They can't retaliate during normal attacks. Oh, nuts. The clicker was too heavy to lift. Oh, okay. I was like, attacks can miss? It didn't look like attacks could miss, but... Well, it's got resistances. Okay. And here's Sickle Dance. It hits everything next to the insect. Nice. What's especially nice is it does more damage, and it can't be countered like a normal attack. Now the benefit of the lady beetle is that it cures and it can uh, use its special move to cure poison as well. Oh nice. Doesn't work on itself though. But poor no really is getting his ass beat. Oh, by the way, I just won the match. Because something I haven't quite mentioned yet is that out of bounds is a thing. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yes. Now, that said, there is a reason to go after the other insectors beyond the king. Because these... Oh, they level up. Yeah, these level ups. It's based on how many of the enemy's insects went down. Rather than whether you won or not. The bout is over! You've won! Congratulations! Kick that kid's ass! Oh, yeah! <laughs> and here's another benefit. I hope to see you at the another thing I liked about the soon. Insectron is that you can take a break go and save between each match. Oh, thank God. Which is exactly what I'm going to go do. Another. Except I'm not even going to come back, because like I said, the only good insects you can find in the post-game, so... I'm going to bid the Insectron adieu for a very long time to come. Man, where should we go? We should go to the Daytron... factory. Like so. Inspector Star, 
Squad B has vanished. And Squad A's whereabouts are still unknown. Damn it. Jupus Tuki McConnell. They say he's the brightest hacker in the galaxy. This isn't gonna be easy. I hear he can hack even with somebody else ha using oh, his keyboard at the same We're time. To the criminal. <laughs> Fucking NCIS. None of the Ace Hunters on Vedan have been able to apprehend him. I'm not gonna waste my I time saw that talking clip. with random hunters like you. Get out of here. That clip was amazing. Uh, random hunters? How very rude. Go on, Mr. Rogue. Set this fellow straight. Huh? Listen, Mr. Oh, right. They think I'm the best hunter in the galaxy. Oh, right. I forgot. That's, that's right. That's still a thing. Hunter Desert Claw. That's who. I still haven't cleared that up. Stand hmm. back and behold the mighty hero. <sighs> Wait a minute. Your Desert Claw? I'm so terribly sorry. Uh, I'm not going to ask for credentials or anything, so... In that uh, case, the Daytron Corporation would like to make a request. Well, if he'd like to go in and like kill himself, there's really no need for that sort of too. thing. You may name your <laughs> this own is true. Reward. Oh -ho! Being famous has did you hear that benefits. cash register hey, noise? Hey, <laughs> I did! I what the fuck was that? He'll accept. And happily. But the Great Desert Claw won't come cheap. Apparently, Lilica is in love with money now. So you'll do it? Excellent. Jupus has commandeered it's kind the of out of nowhere, but... ...and taken control of the factory equipment. Yeah, There's they didn't even have anything with. setting up to that. Stay alert. The entrance is over there. Though, I'll we'll give her this. At result. least she's Desert gotten claw. good at manipulating the system extremely quickly. I mean, she's only been around technology, what, a, like three days? She's already pretty good at uh, knowing how to manipulate the system. Actually, I think we've only been on the planet for one day still. Oh, yep, even better. <laughs> so it's however long it took to travel over here, I guess. Man, it's been a busy day. We got arrested. We broke out of prison. We fought some bugs. And now we're going after a legendary hacker. That's actually the name of the chapter, by the way. The legendary hacker. Uh. But of course, before we go inside, there's some chests to take care of. No. You need the star key. Yeah, more star key chests. And of course, if there are some on one side, there are actually none on the other. We're not on the wrong path, are we? Fucking symmetry, OCD. God damn. Interesting architecture. Uh-oh. Whoa! The Loki mechs have gone out of control! This is typical of them! Robots. But this time I won't miss. We're actually out of control. They are under oh, direct you. command. Be careful, you two. Of a crazy These asshole. Robots huh. are being controlled by remote. By Jupus? Your hunters hired by Datron just like the others, aren't you? Anyone who gets in my way is just asking for it. We cannot run away from this one. Oh, and their names are Max. All of them. They're all Max. Yes, they are. They are the Max robots. Time to use the wave jammer. <laughs> Broke the display. And it drove a few of them insane. That's a, that's hilarious. Uh oh, Steve is being electrocuted. So you can see that these enemies are actually from a fair ways in. Yeah. But they're all dead now. I mean, you're level 30 and you're still not killing them all in one hit, so. 
It appears as though well, not until I broke out the level two computer to control abilities. All the machines throughout the factory. This won't be easy. Huh. That pathetic sociopath is gonna get it. Well, you can see that Lilica's other personality trait, being angry at everyone, is still quite consistent. That twerp thinks he's being funny. Yep. Can't really blame her either. Anyway, we're now in the factory. So let's explore this in the next video. See ya.